Hey there. I am back. Again. It's been two weeks uh, since I uploaded my latest video. I've been away because I wanted to upgrade my grades in school and concentrate on life, but my grades have gone up and decided to come back at it and make more videos on YouTube and as well more levels in Geometry Dash. So anyways, today I decided to show you how to make these types of custom spikes in Geometry Dash. So anyways, let's get started. So first, as always, create a new level and I'm gonna call it uh, Custom Spikes. And let's go inside the editor. You can change any type of color or background you want, but I'm gonna keep it the default. So, let's select this spike. And we're gonna go to this decoration section and select these dots right here. And now we're gonna pinpoint the three points of the spike. So first let's set a group and get the layer a bit up so we can actually see the dot. Now, let's move upwards somewhere right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this arrow two times. There we go. Uh, second one is gonna be, let's move down by one block, and move up using this arrow four times, and this arrow four times, I think. No, five times. And then, two. And then let's move it one block to the right, and then press this arrow three times, no, four times, and there we go. So, the hardest the size to do first are these diagonal, because they aren't in a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna do the bottom first. So first let's filter, and we can actually just create a line down here. What you're gonna do is copy, paste, and use this arrow one time. And do the same process until you get to the other pinpoint. Alright, we're done with that, now let's select this whole line, and now we're gonna copy-paste and rotate it, using this as well. So let's move somewhere to the side on the left, the right, which is your favorite, and try to align by rotating. So let's move it here, and there This is good enough. Now let's try to align it, so like the one end of this line connects to another pinpoint, somewhere like this. Now let's copy paste this side again, but this time we're gonna invert it and try to connect it again. There we go, now what you can do is turn the filter off and remove the spike. And there you go, you made yourself the custom spike. You can also copy, paste, then scale it down, and then move it down here. But it's not gonna do any damage, so what I would recommend is using these spikes and make them invisible, so they can actually do damage, you know, so let's group them. Okay, select this one as well. Then use alpha trigger and make them invisible. And there you go. You made yourself these modern custom spikes. That's the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, like and subscribe to my channel. And see you in another video. Bye.